Hello queens and welcome back. Today's wash day review is being brought to you by my February 2018 curl kit which I receive every single month from curl kit to share with you guys and today's wash day review is featuring the new Lester's Pink Shea Butter Coconut Oil for Natural Textured Hair Collection. So this is the leave-in conditioner you guys and oh my goodness I will go in more depth about each product because they are freaking phenomenal okay now going in with the hair milk next you guys is their moisturizing hair milk another phenomenal product which we will go in depth so jumping right in to the co-wash cleansing conditioner you guys i instantaneously love this product if you watched my initial unboxing and i shared how this product actually works but i'll state it here again it cleanses moisturizes and detangles with shea butter and coconut oil plus jojoba oil and pro vitamin b5 it's excellent for moisture retention you apply this product generously to wet hair massage throughout hair and scalp as you would a conventional shampoo rinse well and repeat as necessary proceed to condition and style as desired this product is awesome. It has amazing slip. As you guys can see, I have no problems with detangling whatsoever. And this product honestly reminds me of the Dark and Lovely's Cleansing Co-Wash Conditioner as well. Love this Cleansing Co-Wash, you guys. Absolutely phenomenal. Good job, Luster's Pink. So as you can see, I've already gone ahead on this last section and parted into three smaller sections because we're doing flat twists with perm rods. So I applied on those smaller sections the leave-in conditioner, you guys. And this product aids in detangling, moisturizing, softening, and adds shine to the hair. Now, the difference between the leave-in and the moisturizing hair milk is the consistency, definitely, but looks can be deceiving. So I'm fixing to show you here that this leave-in conditioner is of a very creamy consistency but it is of a little bit lighter you can tell consistency so <laughs> what we're gonna do here I'm gonna start on this section in the back and as you can see again I've already applied some of the leave-in but not a whole lot and I'm just gonna simply just take that a little bit and smooth it throughout that section you guys and oh my gosh the scent is awesome so this leave-in conditioner it has shea butter and coconut oil as well as castor and sunflower oil marshmallow root vitamin e and pro vitamin b5 phenomenal moving on to the moisturizing hair milk you guys which is my another favorite this one helps in hydrating seals in moisture it softens and it helps to control frizz now like i stated the moisturizing hair milk is a little bit thicker as you can see here but from initial glance it looks the exact same as the leave-in conditioner but it melts down in my hands almost like a butter you guys like almost into like an oil consistency which i absolutely love so there is no need to go in with an oil for this particular collection i feel would just really just weigh the hair down because using the leave-in and the moisturizing hair milk is absolutely enough and as you can see i have some definition so i'm good to go so I'm going to continue smoothing my hair down again, doing the praying hand method, and then we're going to begin doing our flat twist. What I love about the conjunction of the leave-in conditioner and the moisturizing hair milk is how much shine and definition my hair has, you guys. My hair is just really soft, it's moisturized, and it provides such great slip too when you're actually trying to style your natural hair, which is a biggie for me, because if you're low porosity, you know we are always worried about moisture. And so when it comes to the products as well, we want to use moisturizing products that will not only aid in just, again, keeping our hair moisturized and hydrated, but also with detangling and with also styling our hair. Once I'm done, this is what my flat twist looks like. Smooth, soft, and a brilliant shine. Ugh, just beautiful. <laughs> so now we're gonna move on with the perm rods. I'm starting at the ends, and I think what my issue is, you guys, is that I need to use probably smaller perm rods. So going forward, if I'm going to be doing this style again with any kind of perm rods on the end, it will be the smaller one. So <sighs> trial and error, y'all, trial and error. So again, we're just gonna repeat the same exact steps going in now with the moisturizing hair milk because I didn't need it on that section. And the moisturizing hair milk, you guys, again, contains shea butter and coconut oil, sunflower seed, olive oil, avocado oil, and argan oil. 
It also contains vitamin E and pro-vitamin B5, which is awesome. So for the moisturizing hair milk, you guys, it does state that you apply it to dampen or dry hair, style is desired. It may be used daily or whenever you desire added moisture, softness, shine, and manageability. Y'all, I just really love this moisturizing hair milk. Um, again, I did spritz that section with a little bit more water because my hair was starting to dry out so i would honestly use this on either damp or soaking wet hair i'm not quite sure about dry hair because i haven't tried it that way but for a freshly washed hair definitely definitely a good combo with using the shea butter coconut oil for natural textured hair collection from luster's pink and what you guys see me doing here i'm just again applying the perm rise to the ends and this is what my hair looks like you guys and i'm simply going to let this dry for two days yes two days because my natural hair does not play that y'all when it comes to creams it really has to set and dry all right, so now we're going to be using the Luster's Pink Castor Oil Nourishing Treatment. It is a bomb oil, oh my gosh. And then we're going to smooth down these edges using the Smooth and Hold Edge Gel as well. So taking off my bonnet, oh my gosh, one of my perm rods had broken. I didn't realize it. But we're going to go ahead and take down all of the perm rods to start. couple of drops of the castor oil again from luster's pink we're going to massage this between my fingers and simply rub my hands through my hair and begin to take down my twist so of course gently starting at the ends you want to let your hair unravel where it naturally wants to and when it comes to flat twists you're looking for that small piece of hair that is holding your two larger strands together that is the key to keeping your definition with flat twists ladies if you guys were wondering yes make sure you take your time and find that little strand that's holding your two larger your strands together so that way you can keep your definition and minimize frizz now one thing i must say with using this leave-in conditioner and the moisturizing hair milk i would not want you guys to expect it to act like an actual curling cream because when it comes to shea butter and coconut oil again your hair will be a little bit more on the softer side with somewhat of a medium hold i should say because these products are not super heavy so they're not made to weigh your hair down so i just wanted to specify that in this video because i know a lot of you guys follow me for a lot of reviews and so i just want to let you guys you know be aware of that because again if you're like me and you live in a humid climate then yes your hair may not hold up as long as someone who lives in a drier climate so just take that into consideration. But look at my definition, you guys. The shine is everything. I am just living for this shine, y'all. Like, I could not get over it. Like, my hair was so shiny. And it still is shiny. I'm actually on day three right now. But the definition is somewhat gone now. But look at my results. I'm loving it. I'm simply loving this, you guys. <laughs> I really am. My hair is just so soft and moisturized. It's so healthy. It looks really, really good. Alright y'all, so I'm going to lightly um, fluff in the back. I took some pictures so that way I can see where I actually need to fluff. So I'm not going to go overboard. I'm just trying to really just cover up those spaces you know from you know from parting pretty much i'm not worried about the part down the center of course because naturally i wanted of course the wedge look so yeah i'm not gonna go overboard because i don't want to mess up the curl pattern at the ends but yeah i'm gonna do something about these lines y'all i really like how my hair turned out it's so soft it's moisturized, it's hydrated, it's very light and fluffy. And I know when I go outside, I'm going to put my bonnet on because it did rain this morning. And y'all, I'm trying to let this hairstyle at least go for about three or four days. And what I can say about this collection is that it does 
does give hold but again shea butter and coconut oil softens your hair you know and aiding to make sure that's not dry and brittle so do keep that in mind if you live in a humid climate like myself so yes i just wanted to put that out there really quickly another thing that i noticed with using the leave-in conditioner as well as as well as the moisturizing hair milk is that you can use them equally and make sure that every single section of your hair has a even amount of each product so that way you can get the ultimate hold and definition as you guys can see my hair had a lot of shine a lot of hold and a lot of definition and that's because I took my time and I made sure that I evenly distributed the products my favorite method to do is the praying hand method pretty much starting from the roots of your hair down to your ends to smooth the product as well as your hair down and I learned that from Yolanda Renee and I'll leave her channel link below so she has a ton of videos and if you're a mommy you'll definitely love her channel as well so I learned that from her and I just love the collection overall so yes if you're low porosity and if you're type 4 especially and even if you're not type 4 if you deal with dry brittle hair this collection is for you Luster's Pink is an OG and y'all I love them and as you guys saw I used my Luster's Pink Castor Oil Nourishing Treatment. I just used two single drops. Make sure I massage that on my hand to warm it up to kind of liquefy it some so that I can take down my hair and then to ensure that I would not have any frizz. And this actually came in my curl kit just like the um, actual shea butter coconut oil that we just received in our curl kit that you guys saw here in today's video. Came through curl kit. So I love curl kit you guys. I mean I have pretty much loved every single thing that I've received. Some products I have not used and have actually gifted away but for the most part curl kit has really really come through on my natural hair journey for me so if you're interested to sign up for curl kit you can definitely say 10% off of your first curl kit by using my link down below you guys if you're interested I know a few of you guys have actually signed up for it and are actually still a member with curl kit so thank you guys so much for your love and support as well of not just me but as well as curl kit I'm going to actually put some of the um, smooth and hold edge gel a little bit on my edges. I'm not going to do it all the way down here because my sides are actually covered and I don't want to actually disturb the curl pattern being that my hair is actually a little bit thinner and actually some parts of it is a little bit shorter up here in the front as you can tell. So I don't want to actually disturb too much of the curl pattern. As you guys can see though, I'm going to have to, you know, play and place the curls but for the most part. I'm really not trying to disturb anything and y'all know I like big hair and that's what I'm used to so let me keep my hands out of my hair now. So this is what the actual um, edge gel looks like from Luster's Pink Shea Butter and Coconut Oil Collection. Um, it smells really really good. It doesn't have a color to it but as you guys can see it does provide a good amount of hold. I would compare this to jam as to how it actually feels in the container but actually applying it to your hair I must say it's a cross between Silk Elements Edge um, Gel and as well as Eden Body Works Edge Gel. So between those two I would definitely um, compare this to that but I really like it. This is my second or third time using it since I've gotten the curl kit last week so I've only been using it a little bit not a whole lot but like I stated you know I'm just gonna kind of put a little bit here on my edges because I've just really just been trying not to do any kind of slick down style so as you guys can see in the video too I was trying to just be you know a little careful with not you know going overboard with even using the texture pro brush close to my edges because you know even though yes that's a detangling tool my edges are actually very fragile believe it or not and I've come to actually accept that so I have to just be very careful so you guys I love my results after using again the Luster's Pink Shea Butter Coconut Oil for Natural Textured Hair Collection again I use their cleansing co-wash I use their leave-in conditioner the moisturizing hair milk as well as their smooth and hold edge gel to slick down my edges a little bit you guys and yeah you guys I love my results again if you want to see the initial unboxing 
unboxing where I actually go through every product, explain how it actually works and how to use it and really go in depth into all that good jazz as to how the collection actually works all together. I will leave the link of the initial unboxing for that curl kit down below. And you guys, I just thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Make sure that you have subscribed down below. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment if you're a newbie and if not, still comment down below so I can get to know you even better. And yeah, you guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye, you guys.